Hi, welcome back to Rad Road Adventures. We're the Radcliffe family and we've just left Picton after dropping our two oldest off for a holiday camp and we're on our way to Murchison which is a two hour 20 drive. Come along with us as we spend the next couple of days in Murchison checking out the Buller Gorge Swing Bridge and we go on a couple of walks and drop some stones off a bridge. As you drive into the Murchison NZMCA you're soon greeted with this memorial that reminds you of the earthquake that had on the 17th of June 1929. And much of the area's history is centred around the fact this earthquake shaped it all those years ago. While in Reefton we visited the cemetery and we soon came across the graves of those who unfortunately lost their lives in the earthquake. On day four we went to the Buller Gorge Swing Bridge. It's actually New Zealand's largest swing bridge. It's 110 metres in length and it spans the Buller River. Um, it's just 14 k's west of Murchison. It costs $10 per adult and $5 for children and definitely worth checking out. Standing at this point you can see the fault line where that water's coming out and we walk up a little bit and we discover some trail races where some gold mining took place and there's just lots of reminders of the Murchison earthquake back in 1929 as well. Jacob's pointing at the flood markers and in 2021 it went a metre higher than that 2010 marker. Just an amazing amount of extra water. And we can see in that flood that a lot of the debris was caught up in this digger. Just amazing how much water came down this river. And when we got to this point there were a couple of options for some extra walks. And we decided to do the Bushline walkway which gave us a great view looking out over the swing bridge. On the way up we found this old mine shaft. and we carried on making our way up to the top. As we came back down we approached the picnic area and it just had lots of cool old machinery This old replica miner's cottage stood there just on an extra little loop. And then after this we made our way back to go back across this awesome swing bridge. We then took a short drive down the road to Marawea Falls. Now these are as a result of the Murchison earthquake, they weren't there prior to it. It's a bit of a rest area, uh, but there are some picnic tables and definitely worth checking out if you're driving by. spotted a bridge as we went to Marawea so I thought I'd drive back there because I've actually jumped this bridge before but it was a great opportunity for the kids to find some stones and throw them off and have a bit of fun and I 
said to the kids, there are some of those boomerang stones around here. Naomi found one. Look at that. We made our way back to Murchison we saw this walkway on the side of the road which we hadn't seen on Google Maps or anything. Um, I went out to a lookout and it was just straight up. I soon realised that I had too much on. Pretty hot by the time I got to the top. When we got to the lookout we could see the caravan. Okay, the then the kids got a bit of a play at the school next door to the NZMCA park. take our pre-rinse cycle with us on holiday too. Here she is. Day five saw us end up in Mochueka and it was a rainy day, but it's good to have some rainy day activities. The sun eventually did come out. And then down to the local fishing wharf, which is pretty cool, although we didn't catch anything. When we went back, it was windy enough to get out the kites again and have a bit of a play. Just next to the NZMCA park, there's a uh, BMX track. And then we finished our time there with a beautiful sunset. On day six, we had to drive back to Picton to pick up Caleb and Chelsea. It's about a two and a half hour drive and we had to get there by about 11 to pick them up. Blenheim for part three of our adventure. Thank you very much for watching and if you like this video please subscribe to our channel.